Hey everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to UV map a cube in Blender 3D. And we're going to be doing this for the Blender 3D game engine. So, alright, here we go. Um, so there's two ways to UV map a cube. Um, this first technique is going to be the easy way, and that's where you want the same image on all six sides. The second one, which I won't be doing in this video, that'll be a part two, will be as if you want um, different images on different sides. And that's more customizable, but it's also more work um, in getting it that way. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the default cube. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do Shift A, add in a brand new cube. Uh, and I'll explain why in a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and grab it and bring it up here so it's actually sitting right on top of the cube, or right on top of the grid, excuse me. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set up my workspace. So I'm going to come up here in the top right hand corner and find those three diagonal lines. I'm going to left click and drag to the left and that gets me a second uh, window or a second editor. I'm going to come down here in the second editor and I'm going to click on this little button down here and I'm going to change it from a 3D view to a UV image editor and that allows me to see my UV uh, grid right there. Okay, so now I'm going to come to my 3D window and I'm going to press tab and go into edit mode and while the whole cube is selected, make sure that the whole cube is selected. You might have to press A a couple times to make sure. Once it's selected, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press U and I'm going to choose Unwrap. Now when I press Unwrap, it all gets unwrapped over here. And you know that an entire cube has six faces, but where are they? Well, if you look over here, all six faces are actually stacked on top of each other, kind of like a stack of pancakes. And that means that whatever image I use, it's going to be applied to all six sides. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go online and I'm going to look up something like a crate texture. And so you can download any crate texture that you find out there. Um, they can be a JPEG or a PNG. And there you go. I've already downloaded one, so I'm going to go back to Blender. So now I'm going to come over here and over here on the right hand side I'm going to click on the material panel and if you use the regular default cube that comes with Blender you already have a material here. I don't have one here so I'm going to click on new and I'm going to rename the material and I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, crate mat um, and then there we go. Um, then I'm going to click on the little red and white checkerboard panel that's the, te the texture panel and I'm going to say new to create a new texture and I'll go ahead and I'll call this crate text. Text is short for texture and then I'll scroll down and right here where it says image I'll click on open and I'll go ahead and navigate to my desktop that's where my crate texture is saved and here it is right here. I'll go ahead and say open and then there it is. Um, something that you want to check is right down here where it says mapping. You want the coordinates to say UV. That way you make sure that it uses the UV unwrapping that you did. Okay, uh, next thing. Down here at the bottom of your UV uh, window, you want to come down here and you can either click open uh, to open up your crate texture, but since we've already opened it up, you can just come here and click on this little tiny button down here and choose your crate texture and there it is. Now it's really difficult to see it um, so in my UV window if I press A um, it'll deselect all the UVs and there you can actually see the crate texture but it's kind of covered up when I press A because they're all highlighted. Okay so now we want to actually see it over here so you put your mouse pointer in the 3D window press the letter Z and choose material or texture. All right that should be it so now if I press tab and I go back into object mode, you'll see um, that I can see it here. Um, and some of the sides are really dark. And the reason for that is because the light in my scene is really high up. So if I go ahead and drag it over and I move it around, 
uh, you will see some of those faces that were black. Um, to make it look better just overall, if I select my lamp, and remember you have to be in object mode to select your lamp. If I select my lamp, and then I come over here and I click on the uh, lamp panel, if I go ahead and choose something like a, a Hemi or a um, Sun, I'm going to choose Hemi, uh, you will see that the crate is now um, more evenly lit. And now when I go ahead and press P in game, you can now see the crate and it's got all six sides has the same face. So that's pretty much it, everyone. Um, it's the nicest, easiest way to do that. But remember, if you want even one face to look different, maybe it says um, health pack or danger or something like that, um, you're going to have to do the technique that I'll show in part two. All right. Happy blending.